How do you how do you say uh, uh, in French? Uh, my hovercraft is full of eels. Mon air glisser et plein de gueules. Two Canadian guys trying weird beers. Okay, I'm Ed. This is my son Zach. We're two Canadian guys trying weird beers. And today, for those we are about to imbibe, I salute you. You brave souls. So, uh, yeah, we've got beers. Why? Because beeriness is cheeriness, and we're here when you don't want an expert opinion. And uh, we're really good at it. Just just letting you know. So, uh, yeah, be, but before we get to the beers, ooh, oh, I don't know why I'm doing that. Anyway, before we get to the beers, we've got Palette Cleanser. We got the, uh, the Jose Cuervo again. And we got... Curvy Joe. Oh, Curvy Joe. Cleansing our palates. Okay, in for a penny, in for a plenary and worm. Oh, my goodness. Ah. Oh. My tongue's on fire with the flames of rock and roll. Ah. Anywho. Okay, so uh, the first beer is this one. It's called, I, it doesn't have any, oh wait, it, man, I don't know who designed this, this can, but it's really hard to read all the shit. I think it's called Loki. It's a, an IPA. Oh, it's an IPA? Yeah. Oh. Citra, Citra, HBA 016 and Strata. I guess those are the hops. Yeah. Now this is a, a from a brasserie in Quebec. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. Called Gallicus. The, the image is, is, is pretty powerful, but uh, if you were just to isolate the image, you wouldn't know if this was a beer. It could be anything. It could be the album cover for a prog rock band. This is 6.5%, by the way. Wow. Uh, next from uh, Hockley Valley Brewing Company, we have a Canadian Amber Ale called Hockley. Amber Ale. Water, malted barley, wheat, hops, yeast. Contains barley and wheat. Yeah, we got that. It's 5%. I don't really like an amber ale, but the last few have tasted like wasps and raisins. I don't know why. And, well, you know how we feel about IPAs, but uh, Loki is such a trickster, and maybe it'll be an IPA that doesn't taste like an IPA. So where do you want to start? With the IPA. Okay. ipa me up. Oh, it's got that IPA look, that's for sure. Oh, it's, yeah, it's very pale. Needs more time in the sun. Oh. It, uh, it, it smells like an IPA, but it's got a citrusy kind of uh, thing going on. Yeah. A, kind of, well, a, it's got a, the, a little uh, tropical. I know. I, I feel like I should be wearing like a necklace of flowers or something. A necklace of flowers for getting off the plane. Where are you? Hawaii. Is that, is that what they do? Yeah, don't they? Yeah, they're called lays. <laughs> And they lay you <laughs> once you get off the plane in Hawaii. I think they still do that. I don't know. You know yeah. Well, this this, uh, this beer, this Loki beer, has uh, citra, which I think uh, imparts a, cit uh, a citrusy flavor. It's a hop that imparts a citrusy flavor to the beer. No, nah, citra's more chocolate. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that cut. came out. That came out way more aggressive than I meant it to. <laughs> Fucking cut that one off at the pass. <laughs> I know he, because I know he was going to engage in shenanigans. Uh, I wanted to stop it before it started. Yeah, I was. All right, should we? Uh, should we? Uh, yeah, we should. Huna and the Hunda Burner. Yeah, we should do the bum bum. Huh? It's not that bad. This is gonna sound really weird, and and it's gonna sound like a big critique, but it's uh, but I don't mean it that way. For an IPA, it's it's really like like the the IPA quality is weak, but not in a bad way. It's not it's not bitter at all. It's like, it's a little bitter. Like I'll, 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 it's slightly bitter, but it's uh, the bitterness is way overridden by how smooth it is. And, and the flavor, like, it's really, really subtle in 
It's yeah. got a nice flavor for a citrusy. Normally, I mean, when you add the fruity flavors, and you know, I always figure they're trying to disguise the beeriness, but not so much with this. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a bad uh, IPA. It's a tropical drink. It, it's got the, the it, 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 it's like a fruit punch kind of thing. Like, no, it's not a fruit punch kind of thing. Well, no, because because I taste I, I taste the citrus and I and I taste the like like tropicaliness kind of. It's really really subtle, but but everything is subtle in such a way that it still works really well to bring like everything together up. You raise me up I, so I can climb a mountain and freeze to death and be left by Sherpa guides. I mean, you know how many people will die on, uh, what, what mountain is that? Uh... The Matterhorn? No. Midoriyama? Everest? Everest! That's the one! It's weird. Why is it, why is it named after an English guy? Probably because a white guy named it. It's like, uh, forget it, uh, people uh, who live here. This mountain is called, uh, Everest. It's named after me. Boy, that takes some ego. Anywho. Okay, enough yeah. about uh, trying to climb a all that to say crazy, a crazy mountain and dying. All that to say is that this this feels really nicely balanced. Okay, enough of that nonsense. Now we're gonna do the thing that we do. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually kind of looking forward to this one. I'm, I'm curious to see how 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 it do. I'm not. It's a Garino time. That was an easy drink. That, no, it's, that, that was a very easy drink. For an IPA, it chugs pretty well. I'm shocked. So, not a bad, you know, pretty tasty IPA. Not too bad. It's still bitter, but bitter, you know, the, but the flavor and the, the flavor and the smoothness makes up for the bitterness. I would have it again. So, now that that's out of the way, ballot cleanser. Yeah. Okay, here we go. That's some good eating. It's basically your five a day. With tequila? Yeah. I'll go along with that. So, next beer is, uh, well, I guess I'll let you handle this yeah, one. Yeah, it's my turn. A Hockley Amber Ale. Hockley sounds like uh, the accent that uh, Dick Van Dyke had in Mary Poppins. Hello, governor. Would you like a Hockley? And he still, I mean, he still, he still hasn't lived that down. And if you're wondering what we're talking about, just uh, Google uh, or in the, the YouTubes, just uh, type in uh, Dick Van Dyke, Mary Poppins. Oh, kind of caramelly. It smells like sandwich meat. What? I don't know why. I'm getting like not chicken or bologna or something. Chicken or bologna? The mock chicken, not the real chicken. Mock chicken. All right, I can't. I can't think of the last time I ever that that mock chicken was ever put in front of you. Oh, I can't remember that. I, I was a kid. But also, but also. But you know that, that that trauma runs deep. I don't know why they called it mock chicken. I don't even know. It, 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 I don't know what it was made of. It was some kind of meat project. It could have been like. Uh, uh, it could have been the, the, all of the, the leftovers of a pig or something, or a chicken. But if, if it was chicken lips and uh, pig anuses. Okay, so we've just been informed the mock chicken is everything but chicken. Yeah, pretty much. It's a bunch of meats. They they, they mush them together and they turn them into a paste and they add a bunch of seasoning. Anyway. Um. So on the can of the Hockley beer, which sorry didn't read it before, this medium-bodied Canadian amber ale is characterized by notes of lightly toasted malts, warm biscuits. And fresh bread with a delicate caramel finish. They say warm biscuits? Warm biscuits. The perfect choice for those wanting a beer that doesn't sit too heavy, but isn't light on flavor. Part of the European heritage Canadian craft. Well, there you go. That's kind of cool. This is going to taste like biscuits. Oh, God, I hope so. Oh, I could go for a good biscuit. Now it smells like something completely different. I take back the mock chicken thing. 
Does it say like t- uh, does it smell like lightly toasted malts, warm biscuits, and fresh bread with a delicate caramel finish? You know what? I can kind of smell it. Like the like it n- not not white bread though. It it it's not white bread. It's like it's like whole whole wheat bread. It ain't white bread, honky. It's 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 like whole wheat or rye bread. Should we should we taste it? Yeah, we should taste it because now I'm just smelling like uh, you know wax paper and and uh, firewood and all sorts of stuff that this probably doesn't taste like. It's always wax paper with you. Okay. So amber ale has a taste. It reminds me of raisins and wasps. Well, dead wasps. It does not. I've never ingested a live wasp. It does. I've never ingested a wasp, period. So I wouldn't know how a dead wasp tastes. But still. You're taking the piss. It does not taste like that at all. No, but there's a specific taste to amber ales. Because we've had quite a few amber ales over the last little while. They've all got this taste. This one's pretty good. Am- and I, I kind of like it. Amber ales, in my experience, tend to taste very caramelly, warm, uh, a bit nutty. And this doesn't disappoint. This definitely hits those marks. It's not It's not nutty like, like say, like... Like, like the professor. But my brain just for some reason initiated the the line uh, the night professor starring Marlon Brando. The nighty professor starring Marlon Brando. I, I don't know why it wasn't him at all. No, it was Jerry Lewis. It, it, well, the original nighty professor, and then it was remade with the uh, what's his name, that guy. Was it Eddie Murphy? Eddie, Eddie Murphy. Murphy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my yeah, 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 Sorry, yeah. sorry, Eddie. I. I get the toasted malts. Yeah, it's it's toasted. That's that's the the nuttiness that comes out. The the the, the toasted malts. The toasted malts. Don't toast the malts. Don't hang back with the brutes. So, I'm so confused. <laughs> How's that any different? <laughs> What are you doing? It's just a, a fine day for Mary. <laughs> it's a fine day to be a professor. A fine day, day to be Marlon Brando. Oh, it's it's just so good to be Marlon Brando. But just today, hey, you know, Marlon, Marlon Brando didn't play a nutty professor in uh, the Islands of Doctor Moreau. He played Doctor Moreau. That's true. I mean, who Do- was a nutty professor? Doctor Moreau was a pretty nutty for professor. You don't see woes. What the hell is that? <laughs> I don't know what happened to my voice. I just it just went somewhere and I never stopped it. Man, that was awesome. Anyway, yeah, so Marlon Randall played. Hey Gordon, do you know what time it is? It's that time to uh, to do the thing that we do. It's a Garino time. I think it chugs okay. It it chugs fine. It's an yeah. amber ale. It's smooth. It's yeah. caramelly. Yeah. So you can you can ch- you can chug this all the live long day. Okay. Oh my God! Wait. There's <laughs> there's none left. Well, hey, I ladies, guess. Ladies, I apologize. <laughs> but I'm gonna do this once now. And there's this a, this never happens. I swear. Yeah. There was just a little squirt of the Hockleys. <laughs> That's exactly what it was. <laughs> You perverts. Anywho, so... That was, that, that was not a squirt. Not that I would know. <laughs> Anywho, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna add... The, wow, there's a lot, there's a lot of the uh, low-key beer. It's definitely not low-key, that's for sure. <laughs> okay. So it's a whole lot of low-key and a little bit of Hockley. Uh, it's a Lockley bow. A Lockley. That's a Robin of Lockley. Yeah. Oh, man, it smells so medicinal. But uh, that could just be the smell. Does it really? A little bit. But, you know, my old back nerves are all fucked up. That's, that, I mean, that's you can't what, trust my nose. That's true. Never trust this man's nose. No, don't. His nose is probably more accurate. A more accurate barometer of what this stuff smells like. So yeah. when I'm telling you what it smells like, don't listen to me. If you need to snuff out some Fruit Loops, I'm your guy. So you're like Toucan Sam? Is that what you're saying? Toucan Sam I Am. That's my favorite artist that's part of the uh, Black Black Eyed Peas. Toucan Sam I Am? <laughs> I've got a feeling I can smell Fruit Loops. 
That's probably one of my dumbest jokes, but I'm really happy about it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Schmutz away, because I'm the Intrepid Beer Explorer, and I drink all the schmutz. Intrepid Beer Explorer. Drinking all the schmutz. That can't be bad. That can't be bad. Because it's 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 all Loki. You're, 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 you're just drinking all Loki. Mostly. It's a little more bitter when you uh, when you, you got the dregs, of course. I didn't feel any, like, solid parts or anything like that. You know what? For schmutz, it wasn't the worst schmutz I've had. I've had worse. That looked like pretty good schmutz. Yeah. You know. Okay, so the uh, movie roundup review comparison thing that you do, what do you say? How do you know? Who do you do? What do you think? You know what? I don't know if it's because of past experience, like like previous like IPAs and amber ales that we've had, but these were really really good. These were really tasty, really clean. They were very like, tasty super beers. smooth, and, and and there wasn't anything that was like super unbalanced about them and it was just overall a really enjoyable experience i actually really like these both of them even the ipa which is weird um he's no longer <laughs> he's no longer geppetto's puppet once i was a wooden boy a little wooden boy uh, <laughs> and then he had an ipa and went oh my <laughs> oh me <laughs> um but you didn't get swallowed by a whale no I've I haven't swiped right enough for that. <laughs> Anyways, what beer review? Right. <laughs> um, yeah, no, th these were like they're good on their own merits. So I think that these get a Thor Ragnarok out of ten. There you go, a Thor Ragnarok out of ten. I, I kind of get that. I just, I mean, the, it gets a lot of hate, but I didn't mind that movie. Does it get a lot of hate? I don't know. I, Thor well, Ragnarok was like was like considered the best one. Really? Yeah. Okay, then I'm just reading, like, uh, it's fanboy discontent is what I'm uh, encountering. You might be thinking of Love and Thunder. Which one was Love and Thunder? The fourth one. Was that the one where, uh, what's her name, uh, Jane Goodall gets uh, cancer and uh, she, she gets the hammer and now she's all better? But she has to use a, I don't know. And wasn't the, what's, the, what's, what's his name? Uh, and the Patrick Bateman uh, loses his daughter and gets all insane. <laughs> so, full disclosure, I haven't seen Love and Thunder, so I have no idea if what you're saying is true. But man, if that's not true, that sounds like a much better movie. <laughs> anyway, so okay, uh, Thor Ragnarok out of 10. That's take, what this is getting. I get it. Take that, ghost. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'm really happy with myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I I think comparatively on their own, these are not as good as like like taste wise, they're not as good as as I enjoyed Thor Ragnarok. But in the sense of as like a duo, <clears throat> as a duo, and you know like as a tag team, yeah, I'm tagging. Da -da 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 -da. Ah, uh, ah. These these really like in encompass the the idea and, and the essence of going from Thor the Dark World oh, <laughs> to Thor Ragnarok, which wow. Well, I guess that's it. Yeah, that's we're, it. We're all done. We've done the beers and we did the thing and we had uh, home and on, uh, you know, all that stuff. And the, the yakety schmackety. Yeah, we might have offended some people. Whoops. I don't think so. Well. Uh, if you were offended, make sure to leave a comment telling us how angry you are so that the algorithm favors us. Because that's the way it works. That's the way the world works. Yeah, at, at the very least, that's the way YouTube works. Well, yeah, the more offensive you are, the, the, the more famous you become. Not that, we're, we're, not that we try to be offensive. We, we, we come by it honestly. <laughs> we come by it very honestly. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're not, we're not calculated at all. We're not evil. We're just stupid. Exactly. I ain't evil, I'm just stupid. Yeah, that's the whole malice, ignorance, or uh, not ignorance, uh, that's, yeah. That's the whole malice in Wonderland thing. <laughs> malice in Wonderland. <laughs> God, that sounds so metal! That's, I think it's the name of an album by Nazareth. 
Are you serious? Yeah, in Alice in Wonderland. I gotta listen to more Nazareth. Holy shit. Yes, you should. They are oh, a great also, scum By guy. the way, a metal band called Nazareth. Nazareth, you old onion, you. Yeah, the more you peel back, the more there is. Yeah. Or something. You're like I don't an, know. You're like an ogre. What? Nobody's peeling ogres. And peeling ogres isn't a euphemism, you perverts. Okay, be nice to ogres. Don't peel them. If you encounter them. Because yeah. they're... They, they, they don't exist. Only peel ogres when they give consent. And that's right. Because then they're open to the peeling. Open to the peeling. I bet they are. hey oh. <laughs> I don't know, but if, if, if you want to peel an ogre, uh, you know, consult your local cryptozoologist. Yeah. And if you find ogres quite appealing... Get it? Anyhow, okay, we've gone on a... Uh, man. We've gone somewhere. Yeah. We're going into the swamp. Back to the swamp. What are you doing in my swamp? <laughs> that's yeah. that's not... Now you're drinking beers and having a high old time. I did it. That, that is not the Mike Myers impression I wanted to land on, but it's the Mike Myers impression that we got. Also, make sure to ask your parents about the difference between Mike Myers and Michael Myers. It will save your life. It will. Okay. Okay. We're done now. So, Ahmed, this is my son, Dak. We're taking in guys trying weird beers. Man, that was... Did that seem fragmented to you? Uh, that, that seemed like we, 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 we heated up Pyrex and then threw it in cold water and it exploded. Okay, you fucking nerd.